Well, it is the daytime now, so we're out of the darkness of the night. We've ran from the shadows of the night, and the zombies will be all right. Looks like the zombies gave up attacking your front yard, which was cool of them. And now we're trying the backyard. Oh, I see. So the pool is in the backyard. That makes so much sense. Why have I not clocked that before? Plants vs. Zombies, World 3. Level 3. We're in the back garden rather than the front garden. Nothing too crazy here. Pretty standard array. Standard affair of zombies. We do have this new fella, which is the ducky tube <laughs> zombie. Okay. And uh, we have to use the lily pad. The lily pad is pretty much mandatory. At least when you're first playing through. We'll go potato mine and we'll go with chomper. We'll just get things that get rid of zombies quick. Because this first level, again... It's very, very introductory to the world of water, the water world, Kevin Costner. So we've got this guy, the lily pad, very sad looking fella, unfortunately. But he will be the key to our success in the water worlds. Because without him, we cannot plant on the water. And those zombies, they certainly approach through water. Let's see where the first zombie's coming from. Coming from the top row, that's fine with me. Don't mind that at all. So I feel like in these water levels, it's probably just good to prioritize the ground first and then you can set up all the lily pads with sunflowers and whatever else you want to get there once you've got a bit more sun from your more stable environments of the ground <laughs> and uh you know what the lily pads as nice as they are as nice as they can be they're not the priority right now because all the zombies are coming on the ground anyway we could just put this potato mine here and we can carry on planting so we we can get ourselves a nice couple of rows of sunflowers columns of sunflowers i always get the two mixed up potato mine's gonna blow up the zombie in a sec there he goes. So now we've got another sunflower there. We're going to have my potato mine take this guy out. And we could just put a repeater down. You know, I've never had the privilege of having a pool in my back garden. <laughs> I feel like that's a very rich people thing. And that is not who I am, unfortunately. But that being said, I wouldn't mind a pool in the back garden. I feel like I don't really use, or at least I wouldn't use a pool that often. Or would I? I don't know, actually. I, again, I've never really had the experience of having one. So it's like, would I use a pool often? I feel like having a pool in your backyard or your back garden. It's a lot more American than it is anything else. I mean, I, I guess people in the UK do have that, but it's not very common. It's much more common in the US, I've heard. Or seen anyway. But yeah, no, never had much of a pool. I was never really that good when it came to swimming. I could swim. Like, I learned how to swim and that was fine. But I was never particularly a strong swimmer by any stretch of the imagination. I was never a, a, a fast swimmer or a strong swimmer. Oh, we've got two zombies here. So hopefully we can get enough sun quickly for the repeater to strike. If not, we do have cherry bombs and all that kind of stuff. I think that should be enough to take that zombie out. I might need to keep an eye on that, actually. Conehead is putting in a lot of work there. Let's put another lily pad out there. Yeah, it's just about enough. That was close. It was very, very close. But at least we know it's going to be enough. Let's put a repeater down here. Now we're all set up and we're ready to go. All revved up and we're ready to go. What song's that? Blitzkrieg Bop? Is that what that is? That's a rock band classic. Yeah, not been much of a... Never been much of a swimmer. Never been much of a swimmer whatsoever. To my detriment, I guess. I mean, I've never had to be in a situation where I'm swimming for my life or anything. Swimming away from sharks... Making deals with sharks and all that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? What I'm actually going to do here is just put a lily pad here and a lily pad in the other center lane. Okay, well, you came at the worst time. What the hell was that about? Is I have to ask. Let's do that. Doesn't take out that cone head zombie, which is a bit annoying. Put this down. I don't really care if I'm missing too much sun, if I'm going to be completely honest. We're okay. We're very, very okay. What we could do to just speed up the process a little bit here. Chomper on the back. There we go. And we get what I consider my favorite plant. It's the squash. There he is. Angry looking chap. Very angry looking chap. Squash. Squash is zombies. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> he's got a job. He's got a description. He knows what he's doing. Squash. I'll squash zombies. End of story. Let's not overcomplicate this. Level 3, 2, and we are already ramping it up with football zombies and bucket heads, as well as newspaper zombies as well. So we don't actually have 
all of the facilities that we had in the last round to deal with these zombies because we were using mushrooms previously. But we don't have access to mushrooms anymore. What we do have access to is the squash. And the squash, it just squashes a zombie. We, don't, we already talked about that. We know what the squash does. He's probably a good replacement for the chomper for what he does. I don't think we'll need a walnut. I think we've got enough one-hit wonders. We've got enough of the Dariuses and the... I'm trying to think of some more. Last Ketchups? There you go. <laughs> we've got enough Darius and Last Ketchups to last us a lifetime. We've got plenty of one-hit wonders to take out the zombies where they stand. So I don't think we need to overcomplicate. I mentioned Blitzkrieg Bop a little bit earlier from Rock Band 1. What a game. What a game Rock Band 1 was. I would love nothing more than to stream Rock Band 1 one day. I would love that. I think that would be incredible. Rock Band and Guitar Hero. I grew up with those games. Guitar Hero first. Guitar Hero is the game I played first. Guitar Hero is actually the game that kind of got me into learning how to play a guitar, which I can't be the only person that was true for, surely. I remember there was a day where my friend and I went to town with his mother and she bought Rock Band, the whole kind of set. So the drums, the mic, and the guitar. I think he was saving up for it or something like that. But then we went home and played it. And to be fair, by this point, Guitar Hero 3 had been out for a while. I don't know if the fourth Guitar Hero had come out by this point. But I'd already played a bunch of Guitar Hero. So I was pretty solid when it came to that. But it was so cool trying to learn the drums and doing the singing and stuff like that. It was definitely a really, really cool experience. I love Rock Band. I remember at university, I, <laughs> there was a couple of times where friends and I came home after after a little night out and we play <laughs> we play rock band at like three in the morning. It probably wasn't three in the morning, probably earlier than that, but early-ish in the morning playing bleeding rock band. Do you understand how loud those drums are? There weren't silences on those drums. <laughs> there were no silences. They were not suppressed. It was, it was just the loudest noise. And then we were playing it at three o'clock in the morning or whatever. Ooh, we got a little present. We got some mini games unlocked. Okay. I mean, I'm probably not going to entertain them right now, but it's good to know. You should have enough facilities to take down newspaper, right? Yeah, you're fine. Okay, so we know that a pea shooter is more than enough to take down a newspaper man. The issue arises is when a newspaper man has a little backup, which we'll keep an eye on. But yeah, maybe that's something I need to set up one day. I'd love to set up streaming in general. I would love to set up a method of streaming just generally, but my internet doesn't have the capacity to do that at the moment, which is sad. But one day, one day we'll get it done. And when we do, we'll play some rock band, which I'm very excited for. But yes, Blitzkrieg Bop. That was on Rock Band 1. So was uh, In Bloom by Nirvana. Great song, great album. What else was there? I'm trying to put down the freaking potato mine by accident. Now we lost a little bit of sun. That's unfortunate. Well, we could just get the squash to deal with this. I thought the cooldown on the swa The swash? The swash buckle. <laughs> the swash buckling squash. I thought the cooldown on the swash buckling squash was much more than it's presented because it's charging back up pretty quickly. Put down another lily pad there and we'll put down a second repeater. The pea shooter is kind of degraded in quality. It's not something that I'll personally be using a lot more, I don't think, because it's just not anywhere near the strength of some of our other stuff. That being said, this repeater, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I simply did not have the artillery, the firepower to deal with that, apparently. Why do I feel like there was a shortcut to just quickly collect all the sun? Maybe that was on the Xbox 360. I think you could press like one of the trigger buttons and it would just collect all of the sun automatically for you, which was quite a nice little touch instead of having to go over and click all of it together. I wonder if there's a way to do it on this. I guess not. Maybe I need to look into that. I don't know. But yeah, good old Rock Band 1. What a game. I missed the days of Guitar Hero. That was like my summer in a nutshell. I would just go to friend's house, play Guitar Hero, play a little bit of FIFA, 
We used to play a game called LMA Manager as well, quite a lot, which was just like a football or soccer management game for those who are not inclined to call it football when it's soccer or whatever the hell the argument is. I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, it was, uh, it was very much a summer of just doing a lot of that kind of stuff. It was great. I miss it dearly. But yes, Guitar Hero, me and a few of my friends got pretty deep into Guitar Hero. And it was a great time. I got up to Expert Mode. I played most songs on Expert Mode. I never learned how to play through the Fire and Flames, though. Never learned how to do it. At least the opening. It's just too much. <laughs> it was just far too much for me to have to deal with. I couldn't be bothered. I tried to learn it, but unfortunately, my hand could just simply not move that fast. Which, you know, it is what it is. Oh. Cool thing about the squash here is that if you actually collect up zombies together, it can squash them together as well. Unfortunately, in this example, it wasn't able to do it. Ooh! We get a good plant here. It's the Dodrio of pea shooters. It's the three Peter, the three Pete. <laughs> Shoots peas in three lanes. The reason I was laughing at this, the three Pete, is because <laughs> I was remember talking to a friend a long time ago about a player from a Smash Brothers tournament who was looking to do three tournaments in a row that he won. And it was called the three Pete, which is a fun little twist on it. And he was like, he's already done the two-peat before. <laughs> it's like, that's just a repeat. <laughs> yeah, kind of call it a two-peat. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, let's take out uh, the Chomper, I think, on this round. Chomper was becoming less useless. I feel like, to be honest, the... Ah, yeah, the Potato Mine's not really as useful anymore either. For 25, it's okay early game. But to be honest, the Squash can just do what the Potato Mine does anyway, so... What's the point in taking up two slots for different parts of the game? You might as well just use the squash for both. Because, I mean, at the start of the level, you're not really going to be relying on multiple uses of the squash, I feel. So I think we're okay to just take the squash. Because we could put the squash right here, and that zombie's going to take its time all the way to get here. And whilst that's happening, the squash is recharging. We're gathering sun. We're setting up the rest of our board. The zombie slowly walks. <laughs> he slowly but surely will get to his destination. His sunny, sunny destination. Here's another zombie down here. We can put another squash down though, thankfully. Right there. It does mean we kind of slowly meander through in molasses the first part of the level. But I'd rather be safe than sorry, you know what I mean? I'd rather take my time and make sure that my plants and my garden is all set up rather than rushing. So we can just do that. So now we're in a position where we got 175 sun. We can just wait for another sun here. And I think now it's time to start planting repeaters. And now we're pretty much in the same position we would be with a potato mine. Maybe a little bit behind on sunflowers. But again, we've been able to utilize another spot for another plant. Which, to be honest, is not the most useful plant anyway. The repeater's fine, but the three peat is a bit much. I can't put another squash down here, don't I? Okay. We do have the chomper in case things get crazy, but they are just standard zombies at the moment, so... I don't think we've got anything to worry about just yet. Carry on building up our sunflowers. Sunflower... Is it... What song is Sunflower from? Is that Spider-Man? Question mark? Is that the Miles Mo Miles Molasses? Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Miles Molasses. <laughs> Is that Miles Molasses Spider-Man? <laughs> Old ass comment. <laughs> Is it the Miles Morales Spider-Man is what I meant to say? Which I think it is. That's a good film, isn't it? Spider-Man, Miles Morales' whole journey. I've never been much into superhero films, generally speaking. If I'm being completely honest, if this is a safe space to express... My my deepest regrets is that I don't really care about superhero films that much. Which I feel like is a pretty normal take, question mark, I think. Because Marvel is like one of those... I feel like Marvel's just one of those film studios where you watch the film and it's just very standardized. Ooh, I had a voice break in that as well. Marvel... 
<laughs> I'm nervous. I don't want them to hear me. <laughs> what I meant to say, yes, it's it's a little bit standardized in that it's all very the same. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I am simply painting too broad of a brushstroke over all of Marvel films, but I don't know. I can't really sit down and get into many Marvel films these days because they all just feel kind of the same. But Spider-Man definitely bucks the trend. I feel like Spider-Man is definitely like I would say an anomaly. I would say an anomaly. That being said, I don't really care about Deadpool that much. Maybe I should watch those again. I know the Dead Man Wolverine film came out and that was great. Miles Morales, those films are great. If the third one is good, oof. Might be up there with the best trilogies of all time. And maybe that's a little bit reactionary, I don't know. But genuinely speaking, if that- Oh my god, he is scuba dove! He's scuba dove all the way! Look at him go, he's chomping, but the squash will take him out. That was unfortunate, I did not see him. So we got guys diving underwater now. I see how this is. Hopefully we'll get a plant. That'll solve that soon enough. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We will. There's another one. What we can do is just put a lily pad relatively close. And we can use like a chomper or a cherry bomb or a squash. But we can also just like spam lily pads. And it kind of does something similar. Because eventually he'll have to come up and eat. And when he does that, he'll find out. Because he'll have to he'll have to get up and eat and then we can shoot him with all of our stuff. So it's not the most efficient way to take them out if I'm being so real. But it's a way to take them out. So we could do this to take them out a little bit quicker if we wanted to. He'll come up and try and chomp. Oh, I didn't even get a chance. Didn't even have that chance. I think if Miles Morales' third film is really, really good. It might be my favorite trilogy of all time. Maybe. I don't know if it's going to be able to take over Karate Kid. Karate Kid is very much my favorite. But I, I don't know. It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough call. Because Miles Morales' films are very, very good. Genuinely, I want to watch them again. I want to watch them again right now, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> I might just stop doing this and watch Miles Morales' Spider-Man again. Zombie will take out in a sec. Just put a cherry bomb. Let's expedite this situation. And there is our next plant. He's a curly-headed little freak. They call him a lowland tangler. It's the Tangle Kelp. Aquatic plant that pulls a zombie underwater. Now, if they made a form of tangler in a new game that was like a water grass type and it looked like this, I mean, it might be a lawsuit, but that'd be a hell of a cool Pokemon. What we got new in 3-4 here? Javelin zombies. And that's it. Okay. Javelin zombies are okay. We can deal with that. We did get the kelp though. And the kelp is a very, very nice plant because it deals with the diver zombies immediately. And it also deals with any swimming zombies immediately. So it's basically just the squash, but for the water exclusively. So we can do this. And shall we use the snow pea? We haven't used the snow pea in a minute. Why not? Let's change it up a little bit. Once you complete the game for the first time, you get a mode, I'm pretty sure, where you randomize a certain amount of seed packets before you start the level that you just have to utilize. So rather than having, I don't know, eight seed packets here. Oh, sorry, I've got seven seed packets here. I would have to utilize four of them with plants that I actually want to use. Hopefully you get plants that you actually can use in the three that get randomized when you start the game, but you might not. And if that's the case, then, I mean, you just got to hold that. You got to work around it. It's a pretty cool little twist. There's probably ways you can randomize the entirety of the seed packets you get, but I wonder if like, would you be able to complete some levels if they were randomized? Cause you could just get a set of plants you can't use. Say for example, if you got a daytime level and you just randomize all mushrooms then you kind of screwed there is a plant that you get a little bit later on that you are able to you are able to wake up mushrooms in the daytime it's the coffee bean which is a pretty cool plant it's a gritty cool it's a gritty pretty and very little fleety plant i don't know what that was going for there. don't worry about it yeah he's a cool uh he's a cool little guy he makes it a little bit more usable let's plant this here Slow this guy down, he'll be fine. 
I'm pretty sure the Snoopy does the standard amount of damage per bullet as well as slowing people down. So it's basically just a better version of your standard pea shooter. But obviously it comes at the premium of 75 extra doubloons. We're in a position where we can probably get a pea shooter down here. My symmetry is not kicked in, unfortunately. <laughs> it's uh, not the prettiest looking board, but we will get there. We will get there soon. Maybe not on this board, actually. Conehead is here. Let's slow him down with this. And we'll put Pea Shooter in front as well. When we get the resource, will a single frozen Pea Shooter take this guy out? Well, I'm not here to find out. Let's just do this. Plenty of sun coming through the ranks. We'll plant a lily pad here. We can preemptively just put a couple of kelps down. That's what I tend to do on these levels. If I have the option, just put a kelp down there. And let it recharge because the kelp really does have a slow recharge meter. The cooldown for kelp is significantly, significantly higher than the cooldown for squash. And the cooldown for chompers, to be fair. So you got to be careful about that. Kelp is obviously a lot more reactive of a plant as well, I suppose. So use a snow pea. It's a nice counter to this guy, actually, because he slows down even though you've shot him. All over the show, he shot his newspaper out of his hands. He was reading the personals. I don't know what's in a newspaper. <laughs> newspaper is, oh, they're not my bag. I don't know what I'm looking at. Huge wave of zombies. That's cool. You can see we've got three flags on the board, though. So we're going to get three huge waves of zombies, which is quite nuts. There's a lot of zombies to deal with. So much sun. I think two columns of sunflowers is probably overkill. But why not? You know what I mean? Might as well. Let's do this. Oh, we got a javelin guy coming up. And we didn't actually pack the walnut, which was probably a silly decision on my part. But hopefully we should be able to deal with the javelins with just our standard pea shooters, which, yeah, I mean, easy enough. Now that we've got snow pea, we should be okay. Uh, let's put this kelp down here. Get rid of that guy. You see that? I took him out with a swift and dragged him down to the deep. The deep, dark depths. Where only the Jabberwock sleeps. Yeah, we're just slowly and surely collecting all the sun we need to just throw out options like this and just speed up the process slightly. You can see how far it moved at the bottom there just from using one cherry bomb because this bar is directly reflective of the zombies and the amount of zombies that are coming. Collect these coins again. I don't know I'm going to use them, but... They're there, in case I do want to use them in the future, I guess. I might play this a little bit off screen. I might do that. I don't think we need to deal with this guy. Um, let's do this. We can slow him down a little bit. We've got a buckethead zombie there. Oh, we need to deal with this, actually. There we go. Good thing we did that in time. That could have gotten very, very dangerous. Let's put it on a little lily pad here. We got a thousand. And 50 sun. This is far too much sun. No one man needs all of that sun. The clock's ticking. The zombies will have, have not won. <laughs> Never mind. Let's move on. This is wave two of three. Here are the zombies. Not all of them here just yet. But we can use this. Speed it up a little bit more. One nice little technique you can use is putting a walnut down. And then letting a squash jump over the walnut and take out all of the different zombies there, which is nice because the squash can take out multiple zombies at once as long as they're on the same tile. Set down another one here. Javelin at the bottom there, but we should be okay to deal with that with what we've got. But just in case, let's put another one down. Why not? I've kind of mirrored the symmetry now. I've made it look a little bit more symmetrical. Put another lily pad there. Let's collect this cut. Oh, I did not mean to place that there. Okay, well, <laughs> lily pad had a man of its own. It's on another adventure. It's on another journey that I can't stop him on. Look at all of this. Some 1,250. What am I doing with all of that? What do I need with all this sun? I wish you could convert that sun into something else. Do you not get like more coins for it? Ooh, speaking of more coins, we've got ourselves a diamond for a thousand dollars. Oh, ho, ho. that's some good deals. 
Oh, that's a functionality I didn't even talk about with the squash. It's the fact that it can look backwards as well. So it's not even that it'll squash enemies in front of it all the time. It'll also squash enemies behind it if it needs to. Which is very, very helpful. This metal head. <laughs> this bucket head is getting its ass beat. Just a constant pepper and a piece. So that poor bucket head. The ballad of bucket head. See, we've gone back to Guitar Hero again. Bucket head, that's exactly how I find him. I found him on Guitar Hero 2 trying to do Jordan. That was a stupid song. I always look at people who play Guitar Hero to an extremely high level and like the way that they can play Guitar Hero is like seconds and on. It's so, so good. And it's incredibly entertaining to watch. Only one bucket head to deal with here. They'll be able to deal with that guy. And there we go. Ooh, we got a key. Is it a key to victory? Is it a key to a certainly safe life? Now you can visit Crazy Dave's shop. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> your reward is you're able to engage in capitalism. Crazy Dave's Twilly Dicks is open for business. I have a look. See if you can't find something you like. That's kind of nuts, isn't it? Goodness me, that's so many. But let's just go with eight slots. I think that's the right thing to do. And now we can take eight seed packets with us per level. I don't think we're doing a standard level, though. Funny thing about the zombie process, sometimes it makes them come out real little. Real little. And real mean. Real monsters. Ah! Defend your shins. Alright. So there they are, the little fellas. Little zombonies. Little zombinos. And we're playing our standard game of planting and taking out zombies. So we can just do this, but... As you can see, they move at a pretty fast rate. And I don't have a lot to deal with these people. Okay, let's do this. Another cherry bomb. We might as well just waste it. We might as well just waste it. Where's the next zombie coming? This pea shooter's ready. Look at him move. Look at him go. I'm going to wait for a couple more of them to gather up. And then I'll use my cherry bomb then. There we go. This is the perfect time to use it. Look how many zombies we take out. I wonder if there's achievements for like... Take out X amount of zombies with a pea shooter or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Oh, God, he's moving with pace. Oh, dear God, he's moving with a lot of pace. I need something to deal with that. Oh, I didn't take out that one. That's annoying. Oh, no, there's another football zombie coming. Okay, we took out that. That's good. We don't have a lot of firepower for this. Oh, we do have a lily pad walnut, though. That'll do. We'll put another walnut down here. Did he eat faster? I don't actually know. Huge wave of zombies is coming. It's a huge wave of little zombies. It's like an average wave, I guess, technically speaking. Oh my god, look how many there are. There's a whole pack of them. A couple hundred of them. Need another cherry bomb. Need another cherry bomb to take out all of these fiends, these brutes. We are getting some more pea shooters, thankfully. But I fear it may not be enough. I fear we need more cherry bombs. Asking ye shall receive, apparently. Look at that. Look how many zombies we take out. Look how many zombonies we just destroyed. Let's do this. Oh, we didn't take out both football players. That's really annoying. I thought we would. Oh, this football player is moving mad. Get out of here. Okay. He was moving a little bit brazy. I was not sure how far he was going to get. He was making progress, though. He was tracking up the field. Is that a term? Is that a football term? Tracking up the field? <laughs> I don't know anything about American football. I wish I did, though. For what it's worth, I'd love to know more about basketball and American football, but I, I don't really know anything about either, if I'm being so real. Is this the final zombie? It is. <gasps> oh, we get a very spicy plant indeed. It is time to get jalapeno business. The jalapeno. 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 It destroys the lane of zombies. Just an entire lane of zombies. It takes it out. And we got a new fella here. <laughs> it's a zomboni. I didn't even know that was called that. <laughs> I've been calling them Zombonies for ages. We've got to use the jalapeno. But let's go ahead and use this, 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 this. We'll get our regular old repeater. And 
we will get a chomper. Let's rock. I just like the idea of having like seven different options to take out a zombie quickly. Tell me I'm a bit of an idiot for it. I don't know. It just makes dealing with zombies very quick and easy. And then I can just set up as I need to with all of these repeaters when I've started to get more sun. It's just a very simple and easy and efficient tactic. We don't need to mess around. There's our first zombie. We can just kind of plant sun. We don't need to put a squash down just yet. Actually, yeah, let's do it. I just immediately went back on my word. <laughs> it's good to place the squash early because it just recharges. It's able to cool down when we need it to. But yeah, I'd love to watch more basketball or American football. I think I'm more interested in basketball, I think. I feel like it seems a lot more exciting. But American football seems pretty cool too. I don't know who my teams would be. I know, so one of my friends is a big fan of the Golden State Warriors. And then another one of my friends is a fan of the Boston Celtics. I don't know what their allegiances to those teams are, like, prior to choosing them. Maybe they just did a randomizer, I don't know. <laughs> For all I know, they just put all the names in a hat and pulled one out. So, I don't know why they chose the Celtic and the State Warriors. I think they're both very good teams, from what I recall. I don't know who I'd pick, though. I'd have to look into it a little bit. Maybe the Utah Jazz. Just because I like the name. The fact that they're called the Jazz. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'd love to have a team name like that. They might be terrible, though, for all I know. That might be the worst decision you could make. But yeah, I remember playing... Oh, what was it called? Is it NBA Super Slam? No, maybe that's Shrek Super Slam. <laughs> maybe I'm thinking of something else. What is it called? NBA Jam? NBA Jam, I think, is probably what it is. That was really fun. So, I should probably love basketball through that alone. I mean, if that's what basketball is like in real life, there's something crazy going on. If basketball is like what Michael Jordan did at the end of Space Jam, where he stretched his arms out like that, I'll be watching every day. I'll be watching every week. I'll keep up. I'll watch Basketball Omnibus, or whatever the equivalent is. I don't want to use the jalapeno just yet. Because I feel like it might be better utilized when there's a Zomboni on the way. Which, you know, will happen eventually, but we don't need to waste it. First wave of zombies coming up? No, okay. Never mind. I, <laughs> I was lied to. I thought I was going to get a big wave of zombies. There was supposed to be a big wave of zombies. Where's my zombies? Alright, buddy. We get it. You're trying to defend your honor, your privileges... But you're done. Just hurry up. <laughs> hurry up. Die already. Jeez. We might get our first taste of the Zomboni. And we might see our first planting of the Jalapeno. So for what it's worth, the Jalapeno can also take out any other zombies. Like, it's basically just a cherry bomb. But horizontal? Here's what it does. Boom. Look at that. That's pretty good. It's pretty powerful stuff. But again, we just found ourselves with an excess of sun. Look at this. 700 sun. And for what? And for who? You know what I'm saying? Let me convert this into money. Let me convert this into money that I can take to Crazy Dave's. And I can get myself the Gatling P. Because <laughs> that sounds like a great time. I can't lie to you. Why are we using these regular old repeaters? It's kind of wild to think that... The thing that really, really... Got me into learning guitar was Guitar Hero. <laughs> I was just thinking about it again. Because I mentioned it earlier, didn't I? That I, I used to play guitar as a kid. And I actually started playing on the controller. Because you could actually use just a regular PlayStation... I, was, I mean, it was a PlayStation 2 controller, I guess, at the time. Because I bought it. Sorry, no, I didn't buy it. My friend bought it on the PlayStation 2, the original Guitar Hero. And then Guitar Hero 2 came out on the PlayStation 2 and then the Xbox 360 after as well. But yeah, I started on the controller and I have this weird thing with my left arm in that I can't bridge my left hand and my left wrist around the neck of a guitar, which is how like a standard guitar player would play. But I can't, I can't do that uh, just physically. I, I, I'm not able to do that because I guess my wrist don't work no good. <laughs> <laughs> My arm don't work no good. Um, so, because of that, I had to learn how to play right-handed instead, which is 
a weird experience. I am quite limited on what I can do on the guitar because of that, because I don't have the the dexterity in my left hand that I guess a, a normal people would. We got ourselves a new plant. It's the spike weed. It pops tires and it hurts zombies that step on it. So it causes a little bit of chip damage, a little bit of gradual damage. I'll use it for the culture, but generally speaking, I, I just generally don't use this plant. Um, oh yeah, spike weed. <laughs> That's the last one, isn't it? I was like, what do I want to use next? The plant that I was already assuredly having to use because it's the newest plant we've got. Another plant down, another seed down, and a sunflower to get us by our day. Yes, Guitar Hero was a fun time. Yeah, because I can't move my left arm too good, I had to learn right-handed guitar, so I have... Sorry, I had to learn left-handed guitar, which meant I have to... Oh my god, I put that squash in the wrong place! <laughs> oh, well, okay. Well, at least that row's protected. Hopefully the zombie walks down that way. If not, that's unfortunate. Oh, squash, you're cutting it close here, bud. You are cutting it close here. But we should be okay, I feel. Oh my god, of course, they're both coming this way. What is your problem? Why would they both come down the same lane? Why would you not walk down the lane where this delightfully friendly looking squash is? Why you gotta walk down this way for? I may need to rely on something that isn't squash here. I think I should be okay for this one. This guy, I think I might just have to use a cherry bomb on this. Which is not ideal whatsoever. But, knees must. And all because I placed this stupid plant in the wrong place. Oh well. I don't know if anyone listening is a guitar player. I mean, I'm barely a guitar player. <laughs> I can play a few chords. But I don't know if anyone else here listening is a guitar player. And if you are, having to learn something with your non-dominant hand like that is a weird experience. It's a very, very strange experience. And because I can't really move my left hand too good. I'm quite limited on what I can do. That's why I kind of just play chords of songs rather than like any crazy stuff. I would love to learn a lot more, but I don't think I can physically do it. Which isn't try me trying to have a defeatist attitude to the situation. I simply just don't have the dexterity to do it, which is okay. I'm not mad about it. Maybe if I just put like hours and hours and hours into it i could do something more with it but you know i kind of enjoy the guitar playing and, and songwriting pastime that i have because it's not something that i overly commit to i know i can just pick up the guitar and and play and have a good time without any kind of pressure without any kind of stress it's a good feeling to have because i feel as though if you pursue every single hobby that you do in the most like what's the best way to phrase it i guess like in a way that you're trying to do a lot with it rather than it just being a pastime it's like a really extensive well i guess hobby that you would have to put into it and and you know some hobbies are a lot more committal than others like i don't think i could get away with half arsing the stuff i'm doing with youtube but I can do it with guitar because it's like, guitar is just a lot more chill. With YouTube, it's like, you have to put time in all the time to to keep it going. And you know, I'm on, I'm on the schedule at the moment where I'm uploading two videos, not two videos, a video every two days. And even then, that, that can be a struggle. Finding time to record and then finding time to edit and do all the little bits and pieces in between. It's quite a lot of time to deal with all this kind of stuff. So, I almost feel bad. I wonder if anyone else feels like that. I almost feel bad that I'm doing other stuff that isn't YouTube in my free time. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Because it's like, I could just be relaxing in bed for whatever reason. I'm just like chilling in bed on my phone just want to take a little bit of time to, you know, unwind. You know what I'm saying? And my immediate thought is like, you could be editing or you could be recording something right now, which is a little bit toxic now that I think about it. And it's not even as if like, I dislike doing this. I love, I love doing this. I want to clarify. I absolutely love this whole YouTube thing. It's so fun being able to record, being able to edit. It's all fun. 
But it gets to the point where, like, sometimes it does, like, act as that intrusive thought into your mind of, like, you could be doing something more productive than this. You could be playing guitar. You could be doing YouTube stuff. You could be writing a script for your new YouTube video. You could be recording some more for Let's Plays. You could be writing a song. You could be doing anything you could be and and then even then at that point when i'm doing other hobbies like if i'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh, for example if i'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh to learn a little bit more i could be like well i could just be recording at this time i could be editing a short at this time do you know what i mean and that's not a healthy attitude to have and you know now that i'm like almost vocalizing it it's almost like a therapy session isn't it <laughs> get comfy get under the covers get under the sheets and relax because we're getting comfortable and we're talking about a lot of stuff <laughs> but yeah it's not a healthy mindset to have where everything that you do you're like you could be doing this instead because then at that point it's like it feels like a chore i mean that's not fun for anyone is it if the minute any hobby that you do becomes a chore like i just say stop for me personally there's just no point here's what the spike weed does by the way it pops the tire or a Zamboni. And I think the zombie dies. <laughs> I don't actually know. I think the zombie dies. This kelp is not charging up quick enough. And that guy came down at the same row. That's messed up. I'll put down another lily pad. He's kind of my main priority at the moment. Okay. Let's put the spike weed down. Let's collect some sun up. The spike weed will go away eventually if it pops a tire. But also, I'm pretty sure if it just gets stepped on a number of times, it will disappear eventually. Spike weed's actually been putting in hell of work. It's taken out like three or four Zambonis alone. We don't even need to see what the Zambonis do because they're blowing up in time. I'm pretty sure they just drive over your plants, which is kind of messed up in all... In all reality, but don't worry about it. It's okay. We've got our final wave here for 3-7. I hear someone gearing up. We can do this. We'll go ahead and use a cherry bomb there. Uh, oh, I put down a thing incorrectly there. I am missing a lot of sun, but we've got plenty of sun. I don't think sun is a commodity that we're lacking by any stretch of the imagination. Watch this, by the way. You can do this. And this squash should take out both of them. And it does. Here is another plant, which is a little bit more utility than anything else. I don't know how much we'll use this in the future. Future? I don't know how much we'll use this in the future, but this is the torch wood. And peas that pass through it turn into fireballs. They do more damage. But a niche little option is that not only do they do more damage, if you freeze with a snow pea, peas that go through torch wood actually unfreeze those frozen zombies or slowed zombies i guess so i don't know how much in terms of tech you can do with that but it's, it's worth knowing i guess we'll go repeater and torchwood together that's a lot of damage we've got a dolphin zombie so i'm gonna do walnut and then i'm gonna do cherry bomb yeah i think that'll do for now i think the dolphin zombies can jump over your walnuts, eventually you'll get tall nuts, which are walnuts, but bigger. They're, they're girthier. No, no, I'm not using that one. They have a lot more HP. They're a lot taller, so javelins and uh, dolphin zombies can't jump over them. They're overall just better than the walnuts, but they take more resource to put down. Yeah, level 3-8. Level 3-8 doesn't have too much crazy in store. The only new zombie that we've got to take care of is the dolphin zombie and i don't think that'll be an issue but touch wood you know what i'm saying it might be a huge one for all i know put down these kelps preemptively why not no reason not to in my opinion zombies are just slowly but surely streaming in and we'll get rid of them soon enough don't you worry we can put down a repeater here and i guess the early tech when it comes to torch wood is to just place it in front of one of the repeaters but also put a walnut in front of it so it's protected that helps a lot i feel it's it's really expensive that's the issue really 175 sun for something that just increases power of a plant that already is there 
It's a big commitment. It's a big commitment of Sun. I mean, ideally, ideally you would have, look at his face, by the way. <laughs> Why is he smiling like that? Let's see how long it takes for a standard zombie to die to a torch wooded. Okay, so it took five hits. So basically the peas are doing double damage, which is pretty good. I mean, that is very, very good, but it's a lot to commit. It's a lot to commit because that torch wood is just there. And if I want to keep it around, realistically, I need to put a walnut there as well. And that's a lot to commit for just one thing. We'll let this kelp take these two zombies out. We don't, not in a rush, are we? I don't think there's too many plants that can interact row by row. The repeaters can obviously, sorry, not the repeaters, the three peaters can shoot in three separate lanes at a time. But I don't think there's too many zombies or plants that attack by column almost. Makes it a lot easier to manage, I suppose. Let's put down another guy here. We'll do this. Put this there. Ooh, we've got our first dolphin. Got our first dolphin. Here he is. And once he jumps over the kelp, he can't jump over the kelp. I thought he was going to jump over it. I can't lie. But I guess not. It's fine with me. We'll do this. I don't know if this is going to take out this. Is he going to go backwards? He is, thank goodness. He did get to the sunflower, though. You can see the pace that the dolphin zombie was moving at. That's something we've got to keep an eye on for sure. Let's get the kelp. Oh, he's taken down the wrong zombie. He's taken down the Rob zombie. Right, we've got to do that. I'm glad they didn't at least... Oh, and there's another one here. My goodness. What we can do is just put a... Oh, we missed. I'm going to do this. We're not dealing with these dolphin zombies too well. I can't lie. I said they wouldn't be a problem, but <laughs> I have been made to look a fool because they are beating my ass, jumping all over the show. Not too much to do on this one now. I think I've just got to be wary of the dolphin zombies because I don't think that any of the zombies are getting past this artillery now. There is so much here. There is so much here. I just need to protect the torchwood. And lay down the letter of the law on those final ones. We got one final bit. But we'll see how we do. Right. Let's do that. Let's take down this guy. Once they jump over a plant, they do lose their dolphin. Is it a zombie dolphin? I don't actually know. I'm not about to find out. There we go. There go all of the zombies. That torchwood melted the zombies. From head to toe. Goodness me. It is a very helpful tool. There's the tall nut though. Can't be vaulted over by javelins. Can't be vaulted over by dolphins. So we might as well use it. Pretty standard affair again. But why overcomplicate the end of the world? You know what I'm saying? But why overcomplicate the end of the world? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're already here. Why are we drawing out too many overly complex schematics when we know what we got to do we got to squash them with the squash got burn them with jalapeno let's not get too crazy here you know what i'm saying let's put this there i mean look what we could do realistically is just let this lawnmower take out the first zombie if we wanted to we could do that but it always feels a little bit unsafe when you don't have that final invincibility there at the back when you don't have that fail safe there to fall back on, it gets a little bit tougher. I wonder what I would actually do in this situation. <laughs> if this was the way I had to defend myself, I'd probably just give up. I'd just be like, you know what, I'll just take the garden, it's yours. Honestly, there ain't no damn way I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. So what we can do now is you come over, you take the brains that you need to take, and let's just move on with our lives. I will become a zombie with you. How about that? I don't think I would survive in this situation. I don't think I would survive in any end of the world kind of situation. If I'm being 100% truthful with myself, I don't have the resources to do that. I'm not resourceful enough for that. I'm not responsible enough for that. There ain't no damn way I'm surviving the end of the world. I'm not that guy. See, look at this. There's only two zombies slowly walking up. I'm panicking. <laughs> I'm panicking. I'm scared. I'm having to throw out heavy artillery just to deal with those two things. That's not what someone who knows what they're doing does. You know what I'm saying? This is the power of the tall nut. 
Stops javelins, stops dolphins. Stops them all in their tracks before they can jump. Might as well jump. Nope, not today. Uh, let's just use a jalapeno. Why not? I know I'm throwing out these options very quickly, but at the same time, it's like... There's not a ton of reason why not to. Because especially at this early stage of the game, you're not going to be running into too many things that are going to be overly an issue. Because everything comes quite slowly. And because of that, we can take our time a little bit. We can take our time a little bit by putting these things down. But also, if for whatever reason we want to rush, we can rush because it just gives all of the time we need to recharge the plants that we need. Another plant defeated. We're getting all this, son. We're all good. Now we've got to think about protecting the pool. I'm actually going on holiday quite soon, which is exciting. So here's hoping that the pool that I'm in in holiday is significantly less zombie ridden than this one because that would be really sad. I don't think I would enjoy my holiday if that had zombies in the pool. I'm going to be so real with you. If there were zombies in the pool of my holiday, I would be quite upset. Now, is it okay for me to be upset about that? I mean, it's not for me to say. It's really not for me to say. I'll let you all judge. I don't mind. I get it. You've got to cast your judgment on things like this. Because that's quite harsh commentary. I don't want to swim with zombies, personally. And and you know what? Label me what you've got to label me for that. I'm very excited to go on holiday, though. <laughs> zombies aside, I am very, very excited to go on holiday. You know, I don't fly often. I truly do not fly or go on holiday often. And there's no real big reason for that other than, like... It's just never been a priority for me to go on holiday. I don't know if that's like sad sounding. <laughs> it might be. I don't know. But like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm happy to just stay at home. <laughs> I don't have a fear of flying. I don't have a fear of any. I'm, I'm like not scared of it or anything like that. It's not that I don't want to see the world. I get all of that kind of stuff. Everyone who wants to do that, I get it. But at the same time, it's like. I could just vibe at home. I don't mind. I'm really not that bothered. Oh, I hear a dolphin. He's on his way. I don't think I'm going to be fast enough to do this. Not with a touchpad. Yeah, no. <laughs> I did not have the speed with a touchpad to do that. I am not a touchpad warrior. I am a I am a silly noob user of a mouse. Is this zombie going to die? Yeah, he's okay. Good. We do nearly have tall nuts on nearly every single row, which is nice. But yes, I'm going to be going to Tenerife, which is very, very exciting. It's, it's one of the Canary Islands, I believe, right? I always thought that it was in Spain, but it's just totally not. <laughs> it's got Spanish heat, but I don't think it's actually off the coast. Of, well, it might be off the coast of Spain, but it's not part of Spain. I'm very excited to go. I'm going to be staying at a hotel with a friend and going for about a week or so so uh it should be a good time it should be very very good it's my first time as well actually linking it back to this youtube stuff it's going to be the first time that i'm going to have to like record in bulk so that i have stuff uploaded throughout that trip and i hope i'm going to do it i hope i get to do it it just means i have to spend a lot of time recording and editing over the next few evenings which, again, I totally do not mind. I might forego one evening just to, like, go and play some Yu-Gi-Oh. But then I think I'm going to spend most of my evenings just recording and editing. Which, honestly, it sounds like the dream. It sounds like a great time. I would never be mad about that. If this, There could be a lot worse that I do than that. Let's use the squash here. Squash does destroy the Zombonis too. But you can see there, there's a little ice trail. And I don't think we're allowed to plant on that ice trail. The jalapeno does remove it, thankfully, but... I don't think we're allowed to plant on it. I mean, like, physically, not like a no planting allowed kind of thing. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. <laughs> well, if the zombie said I can't plant on there, then I guess I won't. We're getting to our final wave slowly but surely. Got another zomboni to deal with as the jalapeno slowly but surely revives. And we've got 250 sun. I could put down another repeater, but I don't think we need to yet. So let's do this. Let's take out that Zamboni straight away. Got dolphins over there. Don't need to deal with them too quick. We'll just put down this kelp. Oh, this metalhead is very, very close. 
We'll let them eat this plant. We'll let him eat the repeater. And then we'll take him out with the squash. Put down another one there. And that is the level done. That's 3-9 done. That is 3-9 finished and accounted for. Get these coins here real quick. And we'll just let this cone head fall. His final fall. Never to be seen again. Goodbye, cone head. You fought well. Hello. We heard you were having a pool party. We think that is fun. We'll be right over. <laughs> and just invite yourselves over, I guess. Yeah, sure. Why not? See you later, zombies. Now, if memory serves us right, the X-10 levels typically are levels where we... Why the hell did I put the three Peter there? <laughs> There's two zombies merged as one. Two zombies, one family. And I thought, yeah, let's put the repeater up here. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste of time. I don't think I'm going to be able to take out this cone head in time. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> that's so annoying. If I just put the repeater down in the right place. This is the beauty of the three Peter, though, by the way. You get total lane coverage from two lanes being used, which is very, very nice. Put this here. Uh, I don't want to deal with... Metal heads anymore. Bucket heads. Why do I keep calling them metal heads? Bucket heads. I don't want to deal with them. Another three Peter. Let's put that one here again. Let's do that. I did, I, that was such a stupid idea. I'm like not thinking. What am I doing? All right, we've got an excess of stuff. So let's go ahead and put the jalapeno down. Let's put the spike weed here. Let's put the spike weed here. And let's do this. Hopefully that bucket head will be dealt with soon enough. Another bucket head there. There's only really one P that can deal with him. This is pretty standard affair, isn't it? Not too bad here. We've already got to the first flag. We're chilling. I probably should have put at least one tall nut here. Oh, I hear him drive. Oh, I hear him drive. Oh, wow. That's just taking him out immediately. Never mind. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. We'll just immediately delete that with the jalapeno. We don't need to deal with that anymore. Yeah, we'll just take this guy out with the kelp. I don't want to mess with that whatsoever. Same with his bucket head. We can just rush through all of this. We don't need to overly complicate what we're doing here. You know? Kelp will take out that guy. Fine with me. Let's put a tall nut there. Got another plant. We can do that. Torchwood. Let's do this. And now we've got a torch wood on each row. Look at these flaming balls of flame. Look at them go. This is a perfect opportunity for an jalapeno to be used on multiple people. And let's do this. Next port of call is to get a tall knot on each row. I've not really synced them up so that they're in any sensible sequence, but don't worry about that bit. I don't think we need another Torchwood just yet. We've got 3,210 coins. We've nearly got enough for the Gatling P. Although we probably won't use it. I don't really know what to do with this Torchwood, to be completely honest with you. Because it's all kind of just being dealt with. Let's do that. Get rid of all of the ice that this guy put down to. Ice Ice Baby, no thank you, sir. We'll take out this with a squash. Perfect. We actually took out the bucket head and... The Zomboni. That was a good trade. That was certainly a good trade. Although now we're getting to a situation. Is that... Sorry? Was that a bobsled of zombies? Get out of here. Oh, we got a lot of money for that. We got a lot of money for taking out that bobsled of zombies. Goodness me, we'll take that. We don't have a lot to deal with this guy. But thankfully, we have a lot of artillery on the ground. Uh, we're just going to have to put down some walnuts here. We're just going to have to. Just put down some of these lily pads because we just don't want to clog up our inventory too much. You know what I'm saying? Look at the chaos. This is plants versus zombies. You wanted chaos, you got it. Look at this place. Absolutely infested. But we get ourselves a new plant. And it's a water mushroom. That's right, we're doing nighttime pool stages. And I didn't even remember the fact that there's fog involved as well which is a whole other issue 
Oh, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. 